today's video, we're diving into the moments when corrupt cops face their well-deserved instant karma. Watch as these officers who thought they were above the law experience swift and satisfying retribution. First up, see how a racist officer's bad behavior caught everyone off guard. On March 14th, 2023, concerned citizens notified Sheriff Waters about an event that had happened the previous evening involving the use of force by Jacksonville Sheriff's officers. Natra Jones was stopped by a JSO officer. The stop was near Edward Waters University. You just already stopped me, sir. Yeah. What was that? You already talked to me tonight, sir. Who did? I was on that street over there. You the same officer? No, it's not me. I didn't pull you over, man. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. What's the reason for you putting me over Well, your tag's not assigned to this vehicle. It's definitely and it's ex signed. it's expired. It's definitely, it's definitely and signed. you have dark tent. My so tent? My tent? I just talked to the officer, sir. Like, everything you just said. Well, all three of those things is why I pulled you over. My tag? What, what's my date on my tag, sir? I kind of have no idea. February of 23. I just got a 30 day extension on in February. February 23 is what it says on the back of it. And your tent's too dark. Hey, then the officer just, I just talked to two officers in the same one of them had a beard just like you. That's why I Well, it's fine. I don't know who they are. That's, that's not me. Police initially stopped Jones for having expired car plates, tinted windows, and tags not assigned to the car he was driving. Subsequently, the officer who stopped Jones found out that his driver's license was also suspended. Hey, are you aware that your license is uh, suspended? No, sir. No, You're sir. not? Okay. It looks, like it, it looks like it's been suspended of, since uh, December of 2023. Or, I'm sorry, December of 2022. Well, I'm letting you know it is. It's, it's expired since then. Uh -huh. I was wondering if you knew about that. I wouldn't have the license if I knew they were expired. That's not they true. No. I've been pulled over by police. I said suspended, not expired. Uh, I'm suspended. When they, when they, they like your license is suspended and they took it. Like no. They don't, they don't let you keep the car. Jones refused to have his car examined. The cops told Jones he had two choices. Either allow them to search his car, or they would use a K-9 unit to search it. Hey, you going to step out of the vehicle for me? Why? Because I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle. Per case on the state of Florida, when I ask you to, you can step out. That's... No, I'm, I'm asking you to. Yeah, so sir, we're requesting you to so, step out of the vehicle so I can talk legal. to you about the dog and everything, all right? Way off on the dog. I, this is not this is not a okay, type of stuff. Sir, you have to step out now or you go to jail, brother. Those are your options. Yeah, but I gotta go to jail if I know. If you don't, you don't step you out of the car, out. you will go to jail tonight. That's a promise. Come on, I'm up into the store. They say I gotta step okay, out of the car. Okay, we'll step out of the car. You, 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 you can keep talking to everybody. On step the phone. out of the car. You can keep the FaceTime going, bro. You just gotta yeah. step out so we can talk to you, homie. So That's yeah, all. Did the sergeant say I had to step out? Sir. It I'm is, stepping out of the car, I don't want to hear the sign. It side. is federal and state law. The Supreme Court of the United States said, yeah. if you don't step out of this car, Pins versus Pennsylvania, you go to jail tonight. Why did I, Why is that law? Why is that the law? Well, why I don't know, dude. Go, go, go argue it's, it's the Supreme the Court. Law. The police officer kept on giving Jones ultimatums, despite his repeated refusal to have his car searched as permitted by the law. You don't have any, you don't have any weapons or anything on you? No, sir. Okay. I'm going to talk to you, sir. And then we'll Just your car keys? That's my car keys. Okay, right, cool. Please. What's your name? Mike, where are we X-ray? Huh? I'm a great view it. Hey, sir, come on over here. Oh, make sure you ain't got nothing on your legs, sir. You're good. I'm on right here. Let's go right here, Mom. Here, come I, on, bro. Go and walk on back for us. Here, just have a seat right here. I'm going to talk to you, and then we'll, 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 we'll go from there. All right, bro? What is your name, sir? Mom, I'm right here across from Chuckles, Mom. Sir, can you talk to me, and then you can finish talking about all? He got all my information, sir. Yeah, I'm asking your name, brother. I mean, he has all he my He just showed up, sir. man. He's just asking you. Bro, man. I literally just pulled up. I'm trying to talk to you. Sir. I'm being harassed right you're now, not being No, harassed, you're not. Sir. We I'm do this all the time. Name. He said about my tag and my tent. My tent is not illegal. Okay. He just did that. Yeah, your he tent's not illegal, tag. but that tag's expired. Okay. When the cops stopped Jones, it was initially because of his tinted windows. However, without giving him any warning or reasonable suspicion, they abruptly forced him to get out of his car and started searching it for narcotics. So your call, what do you want to do? Probably option number two. Yeah, okay, so here's what I need to do. You... And Officer Mills, you guys step over there and you bite dogs. If you're standing in this house, you go bite. So I can't stand over there and watch y'all do No, you no, we'll step, right over, we'll there step over there out of the way. I want to see what y'all do. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying, you see that? Yeah, you can watch right everything. You can stand way over there and film it and watch the whole thing, my man, okay? And we'll keep your auntie away because I don't want her getting bit. She was like a sweet lady, all right? Okay, so what I do? So walk, walk over so here. Let's walk over. Car door open? I'm going to shut it for you, my man. Yeah, he's going to shut it. I'm going to shut it So we'll walk over there to the trash can so we're out of the way. 
So we can go and head up over there by the dry ice. You said he was, at, he was telling me something. No, he was talking to your auntie. When Jones asserted that he was being harassed while a normal traffic stop was taking place, the officer's response was nothing but a shock. My niece went from a, a regular traffic stop to now even called a narcotics detective out here. Well, he's not, he's not, he's not a detective, he's a, he's a canine officer. Uh, narcotics canine officer, the, the sergeant and the officers out here, they're all on my hood. It's, it's not one, two, three, four police cars, mom. Somebody need to come up here, you tell them something, this is, this is, this is a, a, a horrible form of harassment right now. No, it's not. We do this all the time. It's harassment, sir. It's, it's not harassment. Harassment. It's harassment. Harassment would be picking you out every day. No, I haven't done no... This harassment for officers. This is a, no, it's a not. regular traffic stop. This can turn into a... Every, 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 everybody has a job. This is not. This, this is overdoing it. No, it's, it's really not. Even after using a canine unit to search the car and discovering nothing, the officer kept Jones on his toes and began claiming that he could smell something very strong coming from the car. What you got in that car, bro? But it's strong. That's the strong in my car. Why well, have a right there, At this point, it's not anymore. You're tame, you're not free to leave. I'm not. Until we get Yeah, until we figure out what's in your car. Now I'm detained, mom. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was a canine officer came out here and the Bro, it took me longer to get my dog out of the car than your friend indicated you're not talking to me. So what was the man you were just giving him? Well, if you want to find that out, brother, we'll, we'll be glad to know. We'll be glad he stays here to Thank you. No. Are you smoking on gas? What's going on, man? I don't know. I'm like a drug tester. Why are you talking to me right now? So I'm like not talking to you, sir. I'm asking why the other guy. He's just trying to, trying to make conversation. You know what I mean? Well, if you want a sergeant, hey, bro, these guys will call him for you. He's actually the sergeant. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, he's, he's acting sergeant. Hey, when the cops failed to find anything in Jones's car, they then began to search him and started claiming that he had something in his underwear. Can I see if it's on yeah, please, please, okay, I'll hold that for you. Come on. Hey, after the officers searched him down and attempted to handcuff Jones, a struggle ensued. During this incident, the police tased and used brutal force against him. On this one. All right, just be there. Put the phone right there, all right? Mom can see everything. There's something here. All right, well, let's put him in handcuffs and we'll get it out. Yeah, buddy, there. Put your, put yeah. your hand behind your back. Yeah, there's this. Put your feet. There's the buddy, buddy. Listen, relax. Stop, bro, you're about to get stop, jumped stop, on your face. Stop, or I'm going to put you on the ground. Stop, or I'm going to put you on the ground. Stop, or I'm going to put you on the ground. You're going to get... The officers could be heard screaming that Jones has a gun, but no weapon was recovered from the scene. 10 4. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Felonies. I got a wet tongue. Felonies heading your way, homie. I got a wet tongue. Felonies on top of whatever's in your waistband. I didn't do anything. I didn't grab no leg, son, please. Three felonies on top of whatever you do. Place ban. And we're seizing your car. Good luck. He's resisting, it doesn't matter, man. That's really grab my leg. Make sure he doesn't have a gun or whatever we something hard in his waist. There's something hard in his waist. I 
the other. Yeah. Because he's still. Let me get it out. He's still. Right here, whatever it is, yeah. it's hard. Oh, all the way 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 all Look over yeah. there, he reached in his waistband and tossed it. It's not in here, he tossed it because he was reaching his waistband. I do. The cop's hypocrisy is evident from the fact that despite failing to find any evidence or suspicious items, they continued beating and accusing Jones. Now he's getting oh, tampering as well. I didn't do anything. Look under the coral right there. I didn't do anything. Because he reached his waistband a couple times. I didn't reach I no felt well. it was hard and it was still under. I didn't know what. Shut up. Hey, check in between his legs because he's clenching hard. I mean, he's getting at least one count of bolio. So, that's a felony, brother. Battery on law enforcement officer. I didn't do nothing to you. Good luck, bro. On you. A battery on the officer. Uh, What's going on? Uh, We're still trying to find what he threw out. There was something I hard in his waistband. No okay. He started fighting us. It was nothing in my waistband. He, he grabbed my. As more officers arrived at the scene, the commanding officer denied doing everything that could be seen in the video and implied that Jones was lying the entire time. <laughs> Yeah. I've never heard that man scream on the radio in my life. Well, he thought it was a yeah. dude. Uh, he's got something. So every time you want to search between his legs, he always keeps clenching up. So we're going to have to. I just opened my. You just had my whole nest out. You just had my whole out. No, sir. I did not have your whole. You did just to put my pants all the way down. You put my pants all the way down and then you pulled out my. Sir. I didn't pull you your. Hey, yes, you did. My thing that was wasn't me. Up. Please, I hope that's a video count working. Oh, there, it's working. I heard the video count working. Please, everybody, make sure you didn't buy see me. I was naked. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, what's underneath there? Ah. Yeah. Look like it's like a baggie. Yeah. Just to satisfy their egos, the cops decided to search Jones once again. During the process, they hurt his elbow and then acted as if it was completely normal. You just, this is your second time doing it. Yeah, well, we'll keep on doing it until we find whatever what you had. You didn't grab my neck, sir. I didn't want nobody grabbing my neck, man. You uh, grabbed my neck, bro. No. Oh! Yeah. What's, What's going on? Man, one of y'all was breaking my elbow, man. Y'all done broke my elbow, man. One of y'all bit my elbow, man. What are you talking about, dude? It's a paramedic touching you. I'm not even talking. Man, touching. I'm talking about one of y'all. One of y'all before they ever came. I feel him when he, every time he, he touched my finger, I feel it in my elbow. Oh. Oh. Which, which elbow hurts, the left or the right? The left. We're going to take a blood pressure on the other side, okay? Please don't grab that. So we gotta, we gotta sit you up, all right? Seven ninety eight heart rate point. Ah! This all all right? It's perfect. I'm fine. Okay. 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 Jones was subsequently detained and then taken to jail by the police after a thorough search and investigation. Let me grab my balls. And then we need to double double check this cuff because they're definitely not double locked. Can I get a light? Can I get a light? Sir, you're not supposed to do that. It's violation of my rights, man. He's not giving you a cabinet, sir. Bro, he's just opening it up. He is, man. He's hanging all of my booty teeth right now. 15. Who knows? 5th Mountain Hermann. Florida Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. Light. Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. Pull the light down. Look what he's doing. Come on, man. That's in my teeth right now. Hey, nobody don't see this, man. man somebody need to bring on. They keep his privacy, though. Y'all not keeping my privacy right now, man. Hey, bro, listen, we're talking. What's going on here? 
The cops also took off his socks before putting him in the back of the vehicle as they were dissatisfied with all the searching and violating of the rights of a citizen they had done before. Hey, can I get a uh, flight? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, we got to double check on the coast. There you go, sir. I'm here running my sub. Ah! I'm loosening up your handcuffs. Bro, I mean, well, you, you want to leave them on like that. On. You've been in the same on. Is this on right, CA? Bro, if it was broken, it would have some sort of defense. And I feel up. the pain, though, bad. Sharp pain shooting through my arm right now. Well, we'll take you to jail and have the nurse check you out, all right? Rescue already said you were good, sir. If your shit was broken, I promise. Oh Rescue would have told us. Can I, can I double lock these? Is that okay with you? You're shaking it on purpose, bro. No, your dude, right arm? in your handcuffs so they don't Go tighten up, down. cutting off circulation in your arm. Crazy, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, you know what? You're right. You remind me. Let's check your socks. Let's do that. I haven't had a good one of those in a while. Jones was charged with resisting arrest along with being in possession of and paraffin. He has since been released from jail on bond. In a statement released by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, it said that the officers involved had not broken any state laws or policies. This seems as if the cops got a clean slate for their assault. Next, witness the instant karma served to a group of tyrant corrupt cops whose unethical actions lead to immediate consequences. On June 9, 2021, First Amendment Auditor Sean Paul Reyes from the YouTube channel Long Island Audit was peacefully exercising his constitutional rights at the Danbury Connect Connecticut Public Library, but the library staff alerted the authorities in no time at all. How's it going, sir? Hey, how are you doing, officers? Good. Yeah. Can I get your names and badge numbers? Sure, can I have your ID, please? Uh, no, you, you can't. Excuse me. Is, well, have you not heard that before? I, I've heard it plenty of times. It's just, I'm surprised because, well, my name and my badge number is right here. Uh huh. Okay, you T see it? Tibbets? Yep, so I, I keep, The pen is blocking the, the number. Oh. 640? Yep. And Dennis, 647. So I was told that you were asked to leave. Okay, so would you like that, to know... Is that correct? Would you like to know what I'm doing here, sir? Were you asked to leave? Sir, can, would you like to know what would I'm doing here? I'd like to answer my question. Sir, this is a public library. Okay, I see what I see great. where this is going. I want you to ask my question. I see, I see, I see. Officer Tibbetts didn't want to hear anything and jumped into a demanding stand. I think he's forgetting that he wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for good citizens like Sean. Are you asked to leave? I see where this Security is going. Security asked you to leave, and the employees ask you to leave, sir. No, no. Are you asked? I was not. I was would not. You, would you like? Yeah, yeah. Would you like him to leave, sir? Sure. Okay. So security. So let me explain just just so you get a. Let me just explain really quick so you guys can understand. So what I'm doing here is a First Amendment protected activity. That's I'm I'm recording. I know you don't care, sir. But listen, it, you know, if you violate that in any way and f interfere with that, I'm not you will, violating it. They ask you, you to leave. Yeah, but that that they they can't ask me to leave. This is a public library. Can I get? Can I speak to a supervisor, please? The cops were surprised to see that he wasn't intimidated by their guns and badges. So they got more focused on throwing him out rather than getting his side of the story. So, like well, I mean, student? just just because you guys seem real hostile, I'm gonna explain myself ahead of time. Normally, I don't explain myself, well, you but I, explain yourself yet. I told you I'm gathering content for a story, and I'm engaging, and I'm engaging in a constitutionally protected activity. For what? What is the purpose of this? For what reason? I'm not I'm not willing to disclose the until it's published. Until it's published, I'm not gonna disclose it. Videotaping in a public place is allowed by the Constitution of America, which comes above any local policy or ordinance. Usually in many of Sean's interactions, the people in the public place never complain about his recording. It's just the corrupt security and cops. I mean, I could go up to somebody and say, listen, you feel uncomfortable or uncomfortable. They're uncomfortable, you're breaching their peace. No, that's not true. Oh, okay. I'm you so can't, you, you can't, yes, I do. More than you, for sure. Really More than you, for sure. Yeah. You can't turn a constitutionally protected activity into a crime, sir. Unfortunately, as much as you'd like to. Even a side of crime is creepy as heck. I'm going to request a supervisor again. In a minute. Yeah. I'm going to request one. I'm pretty sure your policy, if I go home and look at your policy, and uh, I'm pretty sure if I request a supervisor, you, you guys should call one, correct? Sean repeatedly asked for the supervisor, but his request fell on deaf ears. They can't deny him his request, so they stay quiet or delay him. See what I'm doing there? Acting like a child? Yeah. <laughs> Acting like a child. We have a supervisor yeah. coming out here to appease your request. But we're not friends. You're my servant, right? Well, You're my public servant. That's right. You're here to protect and serve me. Sure, and I'm also here to protect and serve you too. So I, I don't need protection. Sure. I don't need protection. So that's me, so that make means sure you're going to be okay and people are going to be okay. Because, because I don't need protection, that only leaves one more thing. You're here to serve me. 
That's what you're here to do. Here's another thing. Did you get permission when you post that video of these people? Don't eat it. They're in public. Yeah, they're in public. Don't eat it. See, you're learning something here today, man. Come on. This is what I do. The same way this is, it's kind of shocking that you don't know the law. Well, you know, I can post your, I'm going to post your face and there's nothing you can do about it. Eventually, the cops agreed to bring their supervisor to the scene, but not before getting schooled on the law. 24 years in service, and he doesn't even know what's protected by the Constitution. Says a lot about the kind of cop he is. Imagine what he would do when a camera isn't pointed at him. Yeah, yeah I think I could. Okay, so do it. It'll be up, it'll be up tomorrow. It'll be up tomorrow. And this is going to be, a, and this is going to be a good one too. Normally, you know, I don't know, maybe like 30,000 views, something like that. This one, definitely a 100,000 view uh, video. All because of Tibbetts and Utter and, uh, forgot your name. Dennis. Dennis, Dennis. What kind of phone is that? A Galaxy Z Fold 2. It's gonna sing. It folds. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it is pretty cool. These cops have nothing better to do except wait and suspect what sort of phone Sean is rocking. What a fruitless waste of good taxpayer money. These cops could have been somewhere else making an actual difference. I don't got nothing personal against you. It's just the way you you it's just it's just the way you came up to me. Yeah, ID. Like, come the, on, dude. The way that you're in here you gotta do. You gotta. You gotta. You got You got. You gotta use your de-escalation no, 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 techniques. You gotta not be like this, dude. You gotta take Why a breath. Are you doing this to you get gotta, us here? No, no, no. Uh, did I call you? Well. Why, why is this happening? I'm yeah. exercising. Okay, I'll tell you. You're I'm exercising, exercising my First Amendment, Amendment right, right to film in, in public. Yes, in a public library. Okay. Correct. That's exactly what I'm doing here. For what? If, if they would have spread awareness. <laughs> spread awareness. Uh, yeah, so he's definitely in violation here, too. So. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm. Sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is not going to end well with you. You know that. Okay, we'll see. We no, will see. I'm telling you. We will see. I'm not scared of you. Sean tries to school Officer Tibbetts, but he doesn't take it well and gets offended so easily despite being in the wrong. I'm like, I'm like, listen, before you guys even arrest me, the thing that's gonna happen is you have to tell me to leave, right? No, 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 so, no, 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 we, no, no. This is, we're in charge here, okay? Yeah, you're gonna tell me to leave, and then you're what, gonna have to what give us an ID. Do, if you don't give us an ID, you're not gonna, gonna happen. To go, then you're gonna have to go to Not gonna happen, I'm not breaking any them. laws. Yes, you, you're breaking their law, and they need to find out who you are <laughs> they're so gonna love, back, They're gonna love that you said that. trespassing. They're gonna love that they said well, that. Well, see, here's the thing. We have we have a um, a thing where like they, they identify somebody and then it's considered trespassing if you enter again. So you can't just walk out of here because we don't know who you are. Okay, watch this. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna walk out of here. Am I being detained? Yeah, you are. Because you asked for a supervisor and the supervisor's coming. So wait, so you're you're detaining me? Yeah, I am. Okay, Utter, you're detaining me. Now now you got you a new- You cannot leave because you broke a policy here. <laughs> I'm just saying, and now we need to find out. Are you, who you are. are you law enforcement or policy enforcement? Well, you keep saying policy. Would you like to? You just law? said policy. Okay. That's not a law. Does it have a CR code next they to it or something? Asked to leave, and you didn't. So now we're here. So now we have to find out who you are, so you don't come back again. So we know that. That's not gonna happen here. Sorry, not gonna happen. Policy enforcement. Good job. Who are you? Who are you protecting right now? Who are you serving? Like, I'm peacefully filming, working on my story. I'm press. Freedom of the press. We're, we're a company. I'm independent. I'm independent. These cops try to bully Sean into thinking he's committed some sort of crime, when in fact it was just the library's ridiculous policies, which don't have power over the First Amendment, which is why he mockingly calls them policy enforcement. Eventually, Supervisor Sergeant Dickinson arrived on the scene. Hey, Sergeant, how you doing? Good. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey, so, so, uh, just can I just say Sergeant Dickinson? Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. So they would like you to leave. Okay, Sergeant. If I hey, how about so, okay. You how about you mind your why? business? Are you gonna leave? Hold on. Are you gonna leave? Yes or no? Uh, am I? If well, if I don't leave, will I be arrested? Yes, you're trespassing. Okay, I'm gonna leave then, because you're you're under threat of arrest. That's right. I'm yes. under threat of arrest. Okay. I'm going to leave. And no, you hold do on. not. Hold on. Well, don't whoa, touch whoa, whoa. me. We need to don't touch. Need no, you don't. No, you don't. I have not committed a crime. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Listen, right, man, don't. Go. You're, you're touching me. They asked you to leave. They asked you to leave. And I'm and leaving to leave. under threat of arrest. Okay. You're refusing to provide identification to us. We need because to Because I haven't committed a crime. At this point, it seems like the total hierarchy of this police department is in shamble. Go ahead. And don't touch me again, man. Seriously. Listen, we tell you not to go anywhere, you don't go nowhere. You don't understand? Touch, don't touch me. Leaving. Don't touch me. Do you understand that, though? I'm telling you. Do you understand I'm telling that I told you. you not to touch me? Do you understand don't that? Don't touch me. You don't leave until we say so. Don't touch me. 
Nobody's scared of you, Tibbets. No one's supposed to be scared of me. I'm talking over you because you keep yapping. Okay. You're not listening. You're here okay. to sit here and preach about everything. You know the law. I do. You don't even know what simple trespass is. I do. I do know the law. Unfortunately, more okay. than you. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry that I know the law more than you. It's very sad. You're sad. Okay. okay. Could have really are. Okay. Stop. Listen. Okay. Listen. Come on, man. There's no. There's no. To, there's... You're gonna talk to me now, right? Sergeant Tibbetts kept trying to escalate the situation by getting all up in Sean's face. Cops try this tactic to get a reaction out of the suspect, so they have a reason to get hands on. Luckily, Sean's calm demeanor was a thorn in his side. The library administration or designee, the okay, gentleman right there, with the assistance or advice of the law enforcement authorities as necessary, may make decisions to remove or exclude individuals with or without warning, who interrupt normal library operations by behaving in a disruptive or inappropriate manner towards customers or staff. This is, this is what I do, sir. This is what I do. I've been I to plenty of libraries. I've been to plenty of post offices, plenty of public. Sir, you're, 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 can I please speak to the sergeant? Please, I'm talking to the sergeant. One more minute. So, like I said, sir, I'm engaging in a constitutionally protected activity. So that's not committing a crime. Exactly. That's the exact opposite okay. because I'm exercising my rights that the Constitution gave me. I'm not disturbing anything, sir. Okay. So you had your side. Okay. The if you give me a lawful order, asked, I will the, comply. The gentleman already asked you to leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. We have to identify you because after that, if you continue to come in here, then we would have to... They're going to officially trespass you. They need your ID to give you right. a letter to officially trespass you from so, the city. So, what I'm asking? Okay. So, so, what I'm asking at this point is yeah. you, you may leave. Even though momentarily the supervisor was being reasonable with Sean, the other officers were itching to put cuffs around Sean and call it a day. Here you go. Cool. Great. Right, nice day. Let's get out. Watch your back. Where's my trespass? Where's my trespass uh, we'll warning? Send it. We'll send it to you. After a bit of back and forth, Sean eventually agreed to leave under the threat of a rat. If you didn't have that badge and you touched me, hmm? if you didn't have that badge and you touched me, what is that? What are you trying Come to say? On, Don't what touch you, me. What are you trying to say? What because if you didn't have, you, you touched here. me. What are you trying to say? I'm here? trying to leave. You're trying to just leave. Just go. Just, just go. go. I'm trying to leave. Just go because it's not good for you. It's not, not good for me. It's not good for you. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. You lose your temper. I'm going. Threatening officers. I'm not threatening. You're a douchebag. You're a douchebag. Yup. Is that against the law? I'm going. I'm going off the property right now. According to the American Economic Journal, local governments spend over $12 billion annually funding the operation of 15,427 public libraries in the United States, just so civilians like Sean can be kicked out for exercising their rights. Okay. It's public. Right. You don't get it? This is what I, I, you think, no, it's not. So because it's public, there's no laws or rules in anywhere? You no. can just do whatever you want. No, that's not true. It, you right, can, so they have a law that says what you're doing was wrong. They have so they a policy. Like they have a policy. Right. So they a would policy. like you to leave, and that's what we did. No, but the law protects me to do what I do. You no, understand? No, 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 no. It's no, a constitutionally no, no. protected Put that activity. On your YouTube feed it's constitutionally wrong. protected you're activity. Wrong. If I went in there you're and wrong. I was acting like an <laughs> asshole, you're wrong. Don't, don't touch me. Don't you're touch wrong. me. Don't touch me. Hey, 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 I want to file a complaint against him, Sergeant. He just grabbed my arm. Sergeant, he just grabbed my arm. I want to file a complaint. Sergeant. Sean filed a notice of intent to sue the city clerk and filed formal complaints against all tyrants involved. In Sean's words, you don't always have to get arrested to bring change. And he's a living example of that. Interactions like these give us all hope to stand against tyrants. If you thought that Sean showed tops who their real bosses are, this next hero took things up a notch. We can be like New York officers and be cruel and corrupt and ugly to the citizens, but we're not. I'm gonna be arrested for disorderly conduct for doing something that is legal. On June 26, 2013, a YouTuber by the name of Don't Comply was planning a safe rifle walk in his neighborhood in Little Elm, Texas to raise awareness of how the law permits open carry of rifles. But this activity soon backfired on him. Hey, afternoon. How Sergeant you doing? Sam from the police department. Hey, good to meet you, Mr. Horton. How yes. You? All right. How you doing today? I'm doing well. How about you? Excellent. What's going on today, buddy? Oh, we're just doing a normal uh, Second Amendment exercise. We're going to walk around the neighborhood with, uh, with my rifle slung over my back, pointed down with a uh, chamber flag in, in the chamber. Okay. So, what are we, uh, what are we attempting to achieve here? Uh, we're uh, helping to uh, show the uh, the general public that it's a perfectly legal activity in the state of Texas to open carry long guns. And you think that your display is going to achieve that? 
Uh, it's, it definitely will. People that that may uh, not understand that it's a legal activity call into, you know, say they moved here from New York and they come and uh, call the uh, 911 and they get a dispatcher and says, hey, there's a guy walking with a gun. I guess you. you know, wouldn't this, the simple dialogue be, um, wouldn't the dialogue be, you know, are, well, is he wheeled in around? Is he, is he throwing one with it? No, no, he's not. Okay. Well, that's perfectly legal in Texas. Uh, if you want to call in about that, maybe call the non-emergency number or oh, something of that matter. How long have you lived in the community? I'm sorry? How long have you lived in the community? Uh, we've been here a couple of years. Okay. Hey, puppy dog. Right. He explains his perspective on the issue and the lack of education and awareness of the public about the laws regarding open carry in the state of Texas, something that these cops weren't able to get through their head. One of the safer communities in the North Texas. Well, uh, also been raided. Oh, yeah. also right. been go inside, raided. go inside. As the safest in Texas with a population over 25,000. Yeah, okay. well, uh, so hold on, hold on, hold on. It, it, what, I, what I'm trying to say is we don't, we didn't achieve that by everybody showing their walking around the streets in order to do that uh -huh. okay and i don't believe that you doing that is, <laughs> is gonna is gonna achieve that in the first uh month that we lived here our house was broken into and yeah, uh, that was the, the one the, that took the report yeah the back door got kicked wide wide open and uh you know so it's not the safest neighborhood in, in my eyes because i've been a victim of, of those crimes and if more people were walking around displaying their uh their second amendment rights to uh to open carry longer then maybe there wouldn't be little hoodlums okay. walking around. I believe Officer Nordman has already explained the disorderly conduct law. The officers didn't agree with his narrative and considered their city as one of the safest. The auditor, however, counters his point by giving his own example of how quickly his house was broken into after moving. I walk in with it slung to my back in a proper... We're giving you, we're giving you for a warning mm -hmm. that it's going, to or it's going to cause an alarm. Okay, and I, I guarantee you we're going to get about 100 calls. Uh-huh. And then, okay. I, yeah. And, and listen to me. You're a law-abiding citizen. I respect Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Okay. I'm okay. a law-abiding citizen, or else I want to be in the position that I am. Right. Okay. I love. This. I've got my own collection. Mm -hmm. I don't see that it's fit for me to be walking around my own neighborhood showing. I would understand if you're in the whole Afghanistan. Yeah. It's and, a different story. And that's an opinion. Right. And it's my opinion. And that's what we're having here. It's just right. an, a, a, an opinionated talk between us. Okay. okay. Two men, two uh -huh. grown men. Okay. Right. Who both have the exact same rights. Absolutely. Okay. I chose to live in this community because I feel it's a safe community. Right. The cop seems to imply that his logic is sound and that his opinion outlays not just any law, but the U.S. Constitution. The most sacred thing to any law-abiding citizen. I have my family here, and as I, well as you. And I feel so that we're exemplifying the safety and those rights by going out and properly um, open carrying our, our lawn and, you know, right. walking through the neighborhoods. Right. But I'm sure you've heard the saying before, just because you can doesn't necessarily mean you should. Does that make sense? I mean, I don't see Does why not. Sense to you? I don't see why we. Okay, why so, we so just because you can use the N word, should you be going around town blasting it left and right? Well, I guess I could. You could. It's a First okay. Amendment, but sure. is it really in good taste to do it? I don't see how the uh, law. I don't think so. I don't personally. see how the law enforcement of this town has anything to do with taste. I think it should rely well, on... Believe it or not, a on, lot of it has to do with taste, on how we present ourselves to people, uh -huh. how we treat people. It's surprising to see a cop talking about how they should be presenting themselves and that actions define who they are, all the while being infamous for being corrupt tyrants. Sure. You know, okay. we, we can be like New York officers and be cruel and corrupt and ugly to the citizens, but we're not. We choose not yeah, to be. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're here to serve you guys. Okay. All right. You want to practice your Second Amendment right? Mm -hmm. By all means, go ahead. Great. Okay. So, But as soon as you, you come within the confines... Mm -hmm. of a law that you violate, mm -hmm. you're going to go to jail. Right. Okay. And I don't want it to get to that point. But since, I'm, I'm, here but since I am not calculating uh, to cause alarm in another person, I'm carrying it in the most un-aggressive uh, manner possible to be carrying a gun. I will have it slung to my back, pointed down, not no hands on it, completely hands free. I don't see how that can be uh, calculated on my part as to cause an alarm. You honestly don't think that it's going to cause an alarm? I don't. I don't think in a well-educated public that it it will cause an alarm. You think our and I don't think, educated? And I don't think it should cause an alarm. You obviously don't think our public's educated because you're saying that you're wanting to educate. We them. are helping yeah. to educate. So them. we've got yes. an uneducated public through through what you've said. So that's going to cause an alarm, sir. Well, okay. the, I'm just the, saying. The issue is this: I have the right to open carry. Along. What manner, in your eyes, is not calculated to cause an alarm? What did I mean, carry? No, what did I mean, put well, myself in no, this no, I'm asking, what is the way to do it? I wouldn't do it. So you're saying right. that it's not legal? 
No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying. Well, you're saying you're saying if I if I do something no, that's illegal, to put words in my I will, I'll be arrested. On, on, the cop evidently loses the argument when he's cornered into the query about what is the most appropriate way to open carry a rifle, considering that he has the right to do so. The cop proceeds to chicken out. Warren, come on, okay. let's keep this civil, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, but you're I'm just talking in circles of, around the, the no. issue that I'm going to be arrested for a disorderly conduct for doing something that is legal, and you and you keep trying to pin me in to say that that. I think that it's going to cause an alarm what, in a what's person. What's your opinion on this, ma'am? Oh, I just, I just stand by. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. Did he really think that his wife would go against him for one moment? This shows how badly this guy had this officer backed up into a corner. Normal manner with it slung like, like any uh, responsible person would do. If he's if he's got it, you know, at the ready and he's got his hands on it like this, then sure. But just, you know. I mean, some years back, you know, the little kids would sling a, their over their shoulder and ride their bicycle down the road, right down Buckner in Dallas, you know, and go and shoot cans in a creek. I would understand if you'd be down in Oak Cliff, Dallas, or something like, to that effect, wanting to do this. But this is a perfectly safe neighborhood. Yeah, you've well, had an incident. Well, yeah, 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 it's not perfectly safe. Right, and, that, and that's not. Yeah, and that's not the issue at hand. The cops keep seeming to want to force the fact that it's a perfectly safe neighborhood when it wasn't the truth at all. If I, if I exercise the Second Amendment right, I will be arrested for disorderly conduct. You're telling me that I, I don't have the right to do that. I'm explaining to, to you what the law exactly says. Uh huh. All right. That if you open carry and you cause an alarm, which obviously it's a calculated alarm at this point because you're being informed that it will cause an alarm and, and you're aware of it because you contacted us to tell us this in the first place. I contacted you so that you wouldn't have to rush out on a 911 call. Uh, There's this crazy guy walking down the fly, street with a bullet. Fly, fly through some red lights, endanger your officer's lives and the public's life by flying across town to find someone is, is just doing what is perfectly legal and doing it in a responsible manner. That's why I called ahead. I got you. Because you, because you worry that someone is going to be alarmed and call and be like, "Hey, there's a guy walking down the street with a rifle." Right. Well, unfortunately, that's how the law is right. actually. But and, and that's how I explained it, earlier our, our community. Well, it's not. You don't have people walking around left and right carrying. So this isn't sure. an, an accepted well, norm in our society. Well, we're going to make it the norm here. Then we're going to get groups of people and we're going to do it every day. I mean, if it has to come to that. I mean, we did that in Temple. There was an incident in Temple, and I brought 500 people down there, and we walked right through the entire town with all of our ARs and AK. I'm, I'm sure you were and abiding by every single law that there were. That oh, there was. yeah, absolutely. Okay. And I'm abiding by the law by walking down the street here but, in the same exact Temple way. Temple is a different city altogether than, than Little Elm. Well, uh, yes, Temple is a different city than Little Elm. Um, but we went there and did that because of the the officers not respecting our Second Amendment. The officer's idea that since this is a different city, it would go wrongly is the exact reason why it needs to be done. The fact it was done in Temple City before was because the officers and public weren't properly aware of their Second Amendment rights. We have a duty to protect the community. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and not just one individual person. Okay. We also have a duty to protect everybody's constitutional rights. All right. Yes. Um, but. So you would be violating first, my Second old, Amendment, foremost, right? Our community, mm -hmm. our motto is to have a better in, or have an impact, a good impact on making this community a better community. Great. Okay. That's and wonderful. By you carrying a firearm out there is going to put people in fear for their own safety. Just to be quite make, frank with you. It'd make them uneasy. Yeah. This is what you're saying, right? And and, and it, it troubles me that it, you don't see it the same way. Well, then I guess that you know that that maybe the police Have should should do some sort of public uh, educational classes so that when this arises, you aren't getting the, the hundreds of calls. The cops didn't want to take any meaningful action, and their only way to solve anything was to throw threats around. Just arrest anyone who is practicing the First Amendment right in a way they don't like. State of Texas, mm -hmm. all right, who practices the Second Amendment, Second Amendment right now, mm -hmm. okay. I'm asking you not to do it. Okay. It's got a good taste between you and I. All right, Mr. Horton. Okay. Because you know, you're me. telling me that you will arrest me if I go walk If you violate rifle? the law, yes, you will be arrested. I guarantee you. If I violate the Second Amendment? Nope. If you violate the law. The, the law. Uh huh. Right. Any law, if you jaywalk, if you do anything okay. to that. But the law says that I can open carry my rifle. The Second Amendment says that you can bear arms. Uh huh. 4201, Texas Penal 4201, Code, yes. Holy Conduct says that you cannot do it in a manner to that will calculate okay. an alarm. Well, if if I can't carry it in that specific manner, then there is a specific manner that I can carry it. And do you have any idea what that is? No. Any answer for you right now? 
Okay, so you don't have an answer so don't, as don't, to... don't put words in my mouth, okay? Uh -huh. Right, you're saying you don't have an answer as to how I can carry it le right, legally. safe way to carry a weapon, the other person's safe way to carry a weapon. However, the YouTuber took no heed to the police's ridiculous warning and went on the walk anyway. He recounts his experience. I went on my walk and even bought an ice cream from the ice cream man. It was pleasant and I didn't see one patrol car the entire walk. If this isn't proof of ridiculous police narrative and incompetence, I don't know what is. In this next clip, a cop derogance is met with instant karma as his misconduct is swiftly brought to light by an educated citizen. In July 2021, First Amendment auditor Sean Paul Reyes was conducting a First Amendment audit inside the Bradley International Airport when a police officer approached him and started asking him questions. How are you doing today, sir? Are you a supervisor? I was just, uh, I was just explaining to uh, Megan here that I'm an independent. Yes. As long as you don't... Uh... Go on the x-ray screens because that's all sensitive okay and, and, and impede the operation you're fine yeah 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 no i'm just an independent uh, journalist gathering content for a story i think you're well within your rights i think you know them okay yeah. thank you sir and your yeah. name was brett kavanaugh like brett wow like, like 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 the supreme court oh, justice he spelled it with a K. That's really, really brett the kavanaugh yep. the supreme court justice yeah. The officer was polite and friendly and had no problems with Sean filming inside the airport. However, suddenly State Trooper Lavoie came over and started to ask his ID. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. How are you, sir? Trooper Lavoie with the State Police. How are you doing today? How you doing, Trooper? Good. I'm here to find out what your business here is at the airport today. Uh, nothing. Just uh, gathering content for a story. I'm an, I'm an independent journalist. Oh, great. Do you yeah. have an ID on you? Uh, I'm not going to provide you my, G my, my ID, Trooper. You're actually being State Trooper for your ID. You're going to have to provide us. There is, this Connecticut, sir, is not a stop an ID state. And unless you have reasonable, articulable suspicion, I've I'm committed a... I'm about to do that. I'm not here to get a legal advice from you. Yeah. I'm asking legally an order from a State Trooper to provide me your ID. You're causing alarm at the airport. Multiple um, people have come up to us asking what you're doing. There, there's, a TSA, there's a TSA supervisor who sir, just told me I was well I within my ID, rights. Please? Sir... Let's Put your see hands it. behind your back, please. I'm going to. I'm going. Put your hands behind your back, please. Sir. The trooper took no time to get aggressive with the auditor, as he didn't seem interested in listening to him. He kept on escalating the situation, leaving Sean with no option. Close any alarm. I don't. Last day answer. I don't have an A. I'm not going to put any. I'm not. I don't even have any ID on me. That's going to be it. Okay. I can give you my name and date of birth. Bradley. Would like. Do you have your body camera on, sir? Five eighty one. One detained, refusing to provide ID. I didn't Is there I didn't anything on you that's going to harm me, poke? Anything I don't, sharp? I don't consent to any searches. I didn't ask you that. Is there anything on you that's no. going to harm me? No. And I don't Knives, consent. needles, weapons? No. No? Where's your ID? I don't have one. No? What's this, sir? That's my car key. Sir, I'm an independent journalist working on gathering content for a story. Okay. I have not broken any more. No one said that you did. You're not under arrest right now. You're being detained. But why are you detained? You're interfering you... with my investigation. Sir, you need to have reasonable articulable suspicion. Trooper Lavoie had completely lost it as he proceeded to arrest the auditor without any reason. He then proceeded to search him while Sean kept on trying to knock some sense into him. You need to stop trying to teach me. Why legal... are you shaking? I'm not going to hurt you. You I need to that. stop and listen to me. I'm trying to identify you because you're causing a disturbance at the airport. You refuse to provide me your ID. Illegal You're clearly activity. doing this on purpose. I'm not. So we're going to go through the books. I'm gathering, I'm gathering content for a story. I told everybody I'm an independent journalist. I, I get that. Now we're so going how to is prove that? that, sir. There is there is no proof of that. The First Amendment grants me the, the right. What's your last name? I'm, well, I'm going to ask you a question. And then I'm going I'm I'm to ask gonna you again. You. What's your last name? If I do not give you my name, sir. You're going to be you... under, placed under arrest and taken to be fingerprinted to identify you. Okay. My last name is Reyes. How do you spell that? R-E-Y-E-S. Yeah. As long as, you, as long as you say that, you know, if you say you're going to put me under arrest, I will give you my name. That's what we would R have to do to identify you. Well, it's you, not what I want you, to do. You have no idea. I no came right. over here just to you, identify you. Have... John wasn't posing any threat to anyone, as he was just carrying out his constitutional right. But the trooper didn't seem to have any understanding of the law, as he kept on prolonging the illegal detainment. One word. Can I get your supervisor here, Lavoie? One. Under threat of arrest, I'm providing you that information. Can it's I not get, a threat. Can I, it's me telling you what has to happen. Yeah, really. Can I can I get can I speak to your supervisor a little bit? Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Sir, I, I don't want to. Since I'm being detained, I'll I gave you my name by. under threat of arrest. I'm not going to answer any more questions to okay. your supervisor. Gets here, please. Not I'm a problem. Invoke my fifth. Okay. 
detaining me. I'm not going to answer any more questions. I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent because I, I want to speak to a supervisor, please, because gotcha. you're, you're making a big mistake here, Trooper. I'm right. telling you, you are. Unfortunately, sir, you made the mistake by not identifying yourself. Sean kept pleading his innocence to the corrupt trooper, but it wasn't changing anything. Both of them kept going back and forth with each other while he was still handcuffed inside the airport. Mr. Yes. 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 There was no need for you to be handcuffed. You made it this way. You so, put yourself so you in this situation. The Absolutely not. Me? Not until my backup arrives. But why are you shaking? I'm not. I'm not a threat. I'm not to you, shaking. Sir. I'm not a threat to you. You're detained right now. You're my responsibility. If you fall over, I'm not a threat you're to my you. responsibility. You're saying that, but I don't know that. I don't know that you're not a threat to anything here at the airport. Sir, the way the world works, you can't just you can't handcuff people because you don't know if they're a threat or not, sir. That's <laughs> dangerous that you're acting like this, really. You, just because you're an officer doesn't mean give you, you the right to. You're trying to provoke this, but it's not going how, to work, sir. How am I trying to provoke it? I'm trying to. I'm trying to instruct you and educate you. So That's that not we, your job, sir. Are you a supervisor, sir? I am not. Oh, I'm, can I get a supervisor here? My rights are being violated. We're working on that. Why are they being violated? Because I, I'm in cuffs and I haven't broken any laws, sir. I really want negative one. Hey, sir. Sir, there is, an, as you know, an unlawful detainment. This is the. the you know that. You know what that's going to happen, right? Are you trying to scare me? I'm just saying. It's Are you trying to intimidate me? I'm trying to tell you that this is unlawful, sir. I've been nothing but cordial with you since you came up to me. Absolutely, except you interfered with my investigation and failed to provide your ID. Trooper Lavoie was just not willing to listen to anything Sean had to say, as he was anxiously waiting for a supervisor to arrive. The crime, Can you articulate I did not crime? say that there was a crime committed, sir. I tried okay. to identify you to make sure that there was no issue here. And you refuse to do that. I, I, if I were then you, you would, I would not I put would your invoke, hands behind your back. If I would invoke, if I were you, I would invoke your, your own right to remain silent, sir, because you're just digging yourself deeper in a hole. You just you're said there's guy. no crime. <laughs> Come on, man. Not at this point, there isn't. There, there was never. A, yeah, okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah, see, the problem is you think you're you think you're above the law, and you think you're above. Absolutely you think not. You're above a citizen. You. See, now you're projecting your thoughts because I'm in uniform. So no, no, no. Because I'm, I'm in uniform. I'm assuming because you put me in cuffs. <laughs> yeah, you're detained. That's 100% right. An unlawful, For failure to comply. An unlawful detainment. Okay. Okay. Is the supervisor in, is coming? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm sure he's going to explain it to you. I'm sure he is. All right. The trooper himself accepted that Sean had committed no crime, but despite this, he remained in handcuffs. He clearly needs to get some additional training on the law. Escalation. If you do a little bit of de-escalation, things might go a little bit better for you and anybody else. You could have too. I, I just, all I did was tell you I want to invoke my right. Is absolutely. this a supervisor? No. Come on, man. Can I get a supervisor here? He's going to explain to you guys to release me immediately. I haven't broken any laws. This is insane. They you can't. You, if so, you, lie to us just, just because you have trust issues, that doesn't mean you can put it's not, free it's citizens. Not that we have trust issues. You can't put free citizens our, in handcuffs. It's the nature of our job. This is an unlawful detainment. And when the supervisor gets here, he's going to let you guys both know that. And he's going to tell you to release me. We're, we're going to release you as soon as we're able to do that. I'm not yeah. keeping you detained just because I feel like I want to. You understand that, right? Yeah, no, you, you want to because you put the cuffs on me. You definitely did. While I was here by myself and you weren't cooperating with me. Yes, you were handcuffed. I was not aggressive. No one said all, you were aggressive. And all, I, and all I told you was I'm not providing my deed because I don't have to. Finally, after waiting for a long, the supervisor did arrive, and before getting a briefing from the state trooper, he went over to talk to Sean, who made sure to narrate the entire incident. Sergeant Drummond. Yes. Sergeant Drummond, I would like to be uh, released immediately from this unlawful detainment. I have not broken any laws. Mm -hmm. Your officer, did, your trooper did not have any reasonable articulable suspicion to identify me or in any way. I talked to supervisor from the TSA, Brett Kavanaugh. He mm -hmm. told me that I have every right to film the security checkpoint. Mm -hmm. This is a public building. I'm not I'm an independent journalist. He's vi violating my First Amendment right of freedom of press. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I would like to be released from these handcuffs. Okay. And he turned off my phone. Just, you know, I would like to be released from these handcuffs immediately. Okay. I have not broken any laws, sir. Okay. All right, why were you videotaping? Just out of curiosity. I, I same thing I told you, Trooper. I, I'm, I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Okay. I'm what not going to divulge until the story is published. Now I guess the story has changed to an unlawful detainment okay. by your officer, by your trooper, sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, the longer I'm in here, the longer you guys are violating my rights. So I would, as a supervisor, I would advise okay. you to, to do the right thing here, sir, and, and have me undetained because okay. I have not broken any laws. The supervisor had much greater knowledge of the law compared to the trooper, and he made sure to release Sean immediately. You have to, you're obligated legally to provide it. I know that you do not, that you need reasonable, articulable suspicion. All right, turn on. Okay, go ahead, I'm, I'm sorry. 
you need reasonable articulable suspicion and I think you're I would like to file a, a formal complaint against this this trooper okay. and I'll be writing a statement to your internal affairs but I'd like to file a for, I'd like to file a complaint with you as a supervisor but well, I will advise that uh, could, wait, you least, we, could, you, could you at least could you do that for me can yes, you advise him that that's not the law that a well, no, that's I'm dangerous not, no 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 actually he uh you were uh, he had a reason to question you. You chose not to cooperate with him. You I became the subject of an investigation. So. I cannot. I, I do not have to provide my ID okay. unless he That's articulates fine. a crime. Okay. Hey, okay. Okay. Going near my, my, uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Be careful, man. Come on. What's wrong with you? Come on, man. This is all I'm calls for. I don't know. I'll be talking. I'll be. Ta I'll be talking to professional standards. Your sergeants want him to do it. You need to learn the law. Don't point. Don't point. Don't Listen. We're done talking. We're done. We're done. Get your stuff. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, sir. Not even a simple one for Huh? Not even a simple. No, no. Just let him go. Simple let him go. Let him go. Let him go. I didn't break the law. All right. Let's go. Well, the supervisor did release him from the handcuffs, but didn't say anything to the trooper. Sean really believed that he had been hard done. Therefore, he went over to the Connecticut State Police headquarters to file a complaint against him. The worst was yet to come for Sean as he was confronted by Sergeant. Brian Fahey. Thank you, sir. How are you, How you, doing? How you doing, Sergeant? You're videotaping me? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. I, am I don't want to talk you. to you then. If you want to videotape me, then yeah, if you yeah. want to talk to me like a man, we but, can but, chat. But what, what about problem. what about you guys wear body cameras here? What's the difference? I don't have a body camera. I, I understand that. What, can I get your name, Sergeant? Yeah, Brian Fahey. Brian Fahey. Yeah. So I, I, there's, there's there's a serious civil rights way? violation okay, going on here. So as I was explaining to you, other trooper, I yep. was record. I was. I'm a journalist, independent journalist, working yeah, on a story. Okay. And I was gathering content for that story at the Bradley Airport. TSA became concerned about me filming. Okay. Um, a supervisor came over. The first person who was concerned called the supervisor. Supervisor said, "You have every right to film. It's not an issue. I know your rights. You know your rights. Continue what you're doing." One of your troopers. Um, out of Bradley Airport, Trooper. Um, How can I help you today with pistol permits? Can I help you today with pistol permits? The sergeant didn't seem to care about the problem Sean had with the trooper as he kept being rude. However, things were about to get even more difficult. You can contact our internal affairs department. It's online or there's a phone number. You're a supervisor. I'm a supervisor in charge of special licensing and firearms. So all these people that are in line in 529 gun dealers in the state of Connecticut that's what we're dealing with. There's an outlet for but you to make your a, complaint. There's sir. a civil rights violation. But there's that, an outlet for you, you to make your complaint, and you can make that. We've but why, given you it. why are you guys acting like this? I, I'm trying to make a serious acting civil like rights. What? I don't know what you. Because I can't you're... help you with your complaint today. You have your outlet. You can call IA. I can get you the number, or you can go online and make. This your... is the headquarters. Can I? Can somebody just come down here and speak to me from no, my because internal affairs? Our internal affairs division is not here. I'll be right with you guys. You're all set here. Excuse me? Are you all set here? Well, yeah, there's nothing else obviously you can help me out with at this okay. point. Okay, so you're all set. So you can, you're going to go to IA right now, correct? Yeah, I'll okay. be there. All right. I'm going to be going. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Fahey had a problem with the auditor videotaping him. And within moments, he did something shocking. I'm going to be going. Okay. So you're going to stand I, here with your cell phone up? I thought, I thought you were busy. I thought you were a busy I am. man. I am so, busy. So you should, you should get to work. I, sh I should get to work? Is that what you're telling me? If you're busy. His body camera's on. His body, body camera's on. Stop. Yeah. He has his body camera on. I don't on. care. Stop, Stop, I don't care. Right? I'm gonna this is private property. I'm gonna, right. okay? I'm not doing anything. You're not right, going to video me and have an attitude with me. I'll get off of it. I'll get off of it. I'm going to tell you what right now, dude. I'm not the one. All right. Okay? I gave you the information you needed. And I gave you your outlet. I'm You were given your outlet. I said I was No, you wanted to stand there and hold your cell phone in my face is what you wanted to do. Yes, you wasn't in your Take your cell phone and go and make your complaint, okay? Okay. 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 The corrupt sergeant snatched his phone away and pushed him out of the building. Sean was terrified to see the sergeant lose his cool as the officers tried to calm him down. All right, where's guys, your car? At? Where's your car? At? I'm gonna go, man. I'm going. I'm going. All right, no, but where's your car? I didn't even know where my car's at. You were about to arrest me, man, for real? I, I, I Is had your to body camera you. on? Yeah, my body camera is on, buddy. I'm Trooper Castell, 1139. Yep. Wow. Listen, with the situation you were gonna that you're arrest going, me for real? We're going to detain you over what the situation was going on, man. <laughs> You I'm leaving. Conversation. I'm leaving. Conversation's over. Go ahead. I'm leaving. Stop. I'm leaving. Thank you. Sean went over to file a complaint against the trooper and the sergeant for his conduct. The trooper was found to be acting within the laws, and the sergeant was only suspended for eight days. However, Sean has filed a civil rights lawsuit against the trooper and the sergeant. It is still under proceeding, and we can only hope that he gets the justice he deserves. Well, these officers certainly acted above the law, but these next cops did something even more shocking. Okay, okay. I'm going to... 
In August 2022, a disabled man was trying to pay for his bicycle at a self-checkout lane in a Target when several police officers approached him. the disabled man was just having trouble while paying but he had the money for his purchase instead of helping the poor guy out the officers proceeded to do the unthinkable the officers led by officer kenneth skeens proceeded to use force against the disabled man he was soon forced out of the store and the officers started to question him Which is it going to be? You're not police. Yes, we are. Yes, we're we're here. Here. No, you're not. You're security. No, you got your pen and pen? Yeah, I do. Okay. So what's your name, man? The poor guy was still thinking that these officers were security guards at the store. At this point, he started dialing 911, hoping that the cops would come and save him. However, he had no idea that he was about to be taken in by the same officers. Refusing to identify yourself, correct? Who are you calling, man? You ain't even, you ain't even He's calling call 911. Yet. That's what he said anyway. Say, so just go ahead and put him in handcuffs, because he's refusing to identify himself. Okay, hold on. Uh, I was just paying, I was just having my now, stuff locked in my family pack, and, 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 pack, no, and, ahead, and the security guards came, and I, I didn't take more time than anyone else. The other ones. Just as he got on a call, the officers proceeded to do the unthinkable, much to the person's dismay. So now you're going to be charged okay, with concealing identity, resisting officers, okay? No, no, I... And you're going to be trespassed so you can never come back here again, okay? Yeah. Stand up. No, that's not right. I was just paying my things. Henry's and I, I didn't know you were, you were, you were, you were, you were a police officer. Yes, we told you that already. I didn't see your badge. Okay. Well, we told you, right? You we all have badges. It's yeah. not our fault you didn't look, man. Oh, that, 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 we security guards say they're no. police officers all the time. We identified ourselves as Albuquerque so, Police. Let's we go ahead and get them to talk uh, to you. Stood up and search. The reason to talk to you was they didn't want you in there no, oh, no more, okay? So we have the reason. We asked you your name. You didn't give us your name. That's what was the reason? It was later established that the store had called the cops on the poor guy. However, still, the cops should have investigated the issue before passing their judgment. Sound good? No, it don't sound well, good. Well, that's what's going to happen. Hey, don't, 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 don't. Stand stand hung the phone, I didn't man. do nothing. Yeah. Come on. Stand, stand, up. Stand, up. stand up, man. Take a step for me and stand up. No, because, because, because I didn't do nothing. 911, help me, please. No one's on the phone, man. I think there are police officers right there. No, they, 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 they,
I didn't do Grab anything. Got a knife I, I have a knife. No, you do. I, I used to bend that picture. We're going to have to get him standing up, though. I'm not going to put Can you stand up, man? Are you going to work with us at all? Because yeah. we got to stand you up. You're under arrest, okay? That's not changing now. Well, for what? Concealing identity, resisting officers, okay? Mm, I didn't know you were police officers. I, I told I you. That's your own fault. You didn't listen, okay? I can't help you with that. He immediately realized his mistake and even told the cops that he was sorry about his behavior. Unfortunately, the officers had no empathy towards him as they proceeded to drag him to their police cruiser. I can't believe it. Like security okay, over here. Don't no. resist anymore. Stop. Just walk, man. No. Just walk. No. Just walk. We gotta search you, okay? Uh, you got anything on you that's gonna poke no. his back because it's your hurt? Yeah, I got a couple of knives. You got a couple of knives on you? Yeah, you got any needles? Henry, no. You pulled me out! You without even identifying me. That's then you were. Right now, right? Mm -hmm. the subject's highway mm -hmm. right now. He said, we'll later you said you were. Alright, sir. Don't make movements, man. Just hold on to that knife. Yeah, get this bag off of you, man, okay? Uh, I couldn't take them off. I don't know no, you enough to take them off. The officer's demeanor at this point was sickening as none of them tried to understand the situation. Shortly after, they started to search him. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, let me ask you this. You know we're cops now, right? Do you want to identify yourself? Yeah. Hang on one second. Do you have an ID anywhere? Where's your ID at? Yes. What's your name? Tell me your name. You gonna separate your name anything, man? Not till I get a lawyer. Oh, Just let me take it off myself, can you please? You let me take it off myself. Will you let me take it off myself? Let me get it off. I'm so tired. See, I cut it. I will take it off myself. Uh, you got, you got me? Separate it's, your my, it's, my, it's my money. That's fine, then clutch in your hand, but stop trying to re enter your pocket. Mm -hmm. Cell phone. Other cell phone, though. We told you what's going on. Stop. I didn't know I'm done with you. you. Stop. You. Separate your feet. You didn't show me your bag. I didn't have to. We identified ourselves. You just said. Well, we are cops, so we are police officers, so. They kept on searching for him for a good five minutes and proceeded to take everything from him, including his money, which he was certainly not willing to give. Well, I'm telling you what we got to say. All right? Know what I'm saying? Matthew McManus. Matthew McManus, that's your name? So Matthew, here's what you're under arrest for, okay? Concealing identity and resisting evading obstructing officers, okay? No, no. That's what you're under arrest for. I, I don't have office. to. I thought I didn't. I no, don't have to. So I need to. So if you could be released from here. Hey, drop your money. money. We're taking it with us. Drop it, man. Hey. You, we'll, it'll be checked I thought in. you were security. No, uh, drop the so money, man. Didn't, didn't Here, give it to me. Give so it to me. Give it to me. To I'll make sure it goes with all the money, man. I didn't have to say my name. I didn't. 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 The officers then took him inside the police cruiser as he was about to be taken to the police station for a crime he didn't commit. All I was doing it was paying for my things. Yeah, and you, you, and you had to cut off one of my fanny packs. You know, it was so hard it is to get my money out. And I was trying to get my money out and I got it all out. And then, then you came and I thought you were a security guard. He was taken to the police station where he was charged with concealing identity and resisting arrest. Both of these charges were dropped a while later. On the other hand, an internal investigation took place at the Albuquerque Police Department, and even the Attorney General's office was notified about the incident. After the investigation, Officer Kenneth Skeens was accused of illegal detainment and was fired from his position. The Attorney General also filed charges against the officer, including false imprisonment, filing a false police report, perjury, and battery. Finally, watch as another corrupt officer gets a taste of their own medicine, experiencing the full force of instant karma for their wrongdoing. 
On the 19th of June, 2023, a police officer from the Man Man Falls Police Department pulled over a car for speeding. As he went over to the car, he encountered the driver was accompanied by two passengers who were door dashing. What's going on? Why are you trying to dip out on me? No, you're you're doing. Doing. You're fine, you're you're door dashing. Doing. Okay. You're door dashing right here? Yeah, I swear to God, like this is where we was going. I can shut right here. Yeah, we was here. Left the food. That's all Can I see the address? You should still stop right away. Alright? And you're not getting out of the car right now to deliver that. Okay? You got an ID on you? You have a Wisconsin license or no? No. Do you live in Arkansas? No, I'll, that's where I live. Well, yeah, no. But, like, I'm visiting here now. You're visiting right now? Okay. But he lives here before. What's your phone number, man? Right. You guys have IDs on you? Yeah, I do. It's in my book bag. Where is it? My book bag. Where's that? You can grab it. Oh. You got an ID, man? Uh, yeah, hey, she said, well, you need an ID if it's a traffic stop. I'm just asking. He just asked. You was just asking. Him. So you don't need to see it? Everyone inside the car was complying with the officer, and even though no one apart from the driver was legally obliged to give their license, the officer kept demanding it from all of them, eventually asking them to step out of the car. Tell her it smells like weed in here, and you guys are driving it. Okay. All right, why don't you step out for me? Yep. Come on, all three of you come out. I'm gonna search the car. Leave the phone in there, sir. Step out, leave the phone. Keep your hand out of your pockets. Hey, what's his name? TJ. Listen, he said leave the phone. The officer later claimed that he could smell marijuana inside the car and asked everyone to step out. Everyone did oblige apart from the front seat passenger who appeared to be a bit resistant. Phone in there. Why can't he have his phone? Why can't he have his phone? Because I'm telling you, you can't right now. We're investigating something. Is that a law? Put your phone in there right now. Put your phone in there. Put your phone in there because I'm going to search the car for marijuana. Okay, we're investigating something you're not allowed on the phone. Put it in there. I'm not going to ask you again. Please, it's a lawful order. So it's a lawful order that we can Put it in there. That's just sound dumb. Put it in there. You put your phone in there. I don't care, my nigga. Get a phone. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm not going to ask you again. Ask your face on. Within moments, several police officers had also arrived on the scene as they attempted to hold him off and take his phone away. He kept on resisting until the officers resorted to arrest him. Turn around. Turn around. Stop. Stop resisting right now. Stop resisting. Stop resisting right now. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Look, they I'm going to tase you. I will tase you if you don't stop. Right, uh, that's quick for not reason, one Hey, grab my phone. Let's go. Grab my phone, bro. Come on, give me phone, my nigga. I can't have a phone for the about. We got a thing. Pulse 211, like, sis, hey, can't we record? Ain't that all right to record, my nigga? Hey, ain't that all right to record? Turn. Step in front of the car. Step in front of the car. The officers proceeded to arrest him, causing an unsettlement amongst the other two individuals on the scene. It appeared as if he was just arrested for using his mobile phone, a right he was entitled to exercise as he wasn't detained at this point. He can have his phone, right? As part of the investigation. That's a question. He can have his phone, right? Not while we're doing an investigation. That's it. It's not an investigation. Y'all put us over some traffic. I didn't put it over. Exactly. Exactly. Bro, that's just stop. We are trying to do a best. I'm going to send you a love picture. Where are you going? Hold on, hold on. What y'all doing? Hold on. What y'all doing? Hold on. Why are you arresting him? Oh, I just got here. He's under arrest. I heard obstructing. Okay. I stopped my traffic stop. So just wait a minute. Okay, look. It's your traffic stop, so can I talk to you? Come here. Come here. We don't got to talk to nobody else. Come here. Come here. Why is he I getting arrested? Why is there so many people here? It's just three of us. Come here. What's going on? Come here. We don't got to talk to none of them. Okay. We're talking to him. Who pulled us out? I'm Tina. Put this down for a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Talk to you. We don't got to put it down. Wait. We don't got to put it down. Look. 
It was surprising to see several police officers arriving at a simple traffic stop. The officers kept on investigating the matter until they waited outside their car, delaying their DoorDash order. Hey, you need a warrant to search my bag. I wasn't driving. What's your last name? What? Because you're inside the vehicle and this is an investigation. Why is it an investigation? It was just a traffic stop. Yep, and now it's turned into an investigation. Well, Obviously, in we've, my name. We, you've got him. Take me in and get my name. You don't want to give us your name? No. Huh? Exactly. It's who? That's how dumb you sound. Post 217 assault. What is dumb ass? He looking at me dumb as hell. Is this yours? Yes, how many times I got to tell you, bro? Okay. A matter that should have ended in minutes with a simple speeding ticket was about to cause another arrest. Maybe the officers could have used a bit of de-escalation tactics to a more favorable outcome for everyone. You stand up for me. It should have been heard. No, wait, that's a fair Bro, bro, bro. Some friend of the car. I'm in the car. Hold on. They're going to call me. Get up. Set it down. Open the Come grab my stuff. Here, bro. Here, bro. Here, grab stuff. Here. Hey, AJ. Hey, bro, grab my phone. AJ. AJ, just shut the f up and grab my phone. I'm going to grab Stay right there. You don't have to say shit. Just pick the stuff up on the grass. Bro, don't touch my phone. It seemed like the cops had something against mobile phones. As he threw his phone to his friend, the cops once again went all over him and even proceeded to arrest the driver, who had been cooperating throughout the encounter. Bro! Hey, what the f is wrong with y'all? What the f is touching him before I slap this f your boy in that? All right, let's keep everybody's stuff straight. That's his. That, them his keys. That's my house. You got my bag on you? Your bag, your bag. You gonna grab it? Sure. You got the other side? Yeah. Hey! Hey, what the Hey, get your knee off him! Get your knee off him! Just Bro. relax. Hey, hey, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Hey! Get your knee off of him before I slap this out you. Hey! Bro, shut the who was you yelling at? Who was you yelling at? Within minutes, each of them found themselves sitting in the back of the police cruiser in handcuffs. We never got his hand. Can you please unbuckle? You're easy. Stop. Can I put my shoe on? Hold on. I'll give you the opportunity. I need to Hold on, bro. Y'all owe me for no reason, bro. Y'all owe me for no reason right now. Tell me why y'all owe me right now. Tell me why y'all owe me right now. You got your knee in my back, bro. I can't even breathe, bro. Like, what the fuck is wrong? We're gonna roll you on your side. You're doing too much. Get off me. You got your knee all up in my back and shit. Stop reaching this bitch. my wrist, bro. He's trying to break my wrist. Let go of my wrist. Bro, he's trying to break my wrist, bro. Why is you grabbing on me like that, bro? I can stand up on my own. Let go bro. Bro, you just said stand up. What did I do? Take a seat. I just told you what you did. But like, how? 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 How am I expressing when I've been standing there the whole time? Oh my God. All three of them were taken to the police station where they were charged with numerous charges, including resisting arrest and possession of narcotics. All three of them posted bonds and were eventually released. The cops surely escalated a simple situation, and their use of force and arrest were entirely unnecessary. These officers violated the rights of these people, but the actions of these next officers will make them appear as angels. Get in the car! Oh my god, I can't! I'm too big! It sucks to be you! Stop. Get in the car! On December 3rd, 2021, officers from the East Ridge Police Department responded to a call for a well child check. On arrival, the officers found a black car parked outside the home with two people inside. Shortly after, the officer confronted the woman driving the vehicle. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey, do you live here? Um, my daughter's living here. Is she? Yeah. In, the, in this, is that 893? Yeah, it is. 893, okay. All right, hang on one second for me, okay? Something wrong? Well, we got called to check on a child. What well, child? I don't know. They didn't tell us. They just said do a welfare check. From 
win. Like The woman was identified as Angel Sherrod, who was accompanied by her son and had come over to her daughter's home to pick up her granddaughter so her daughter could head to work the next day. After listening to the welfare check, Angel became concerned and got out of her car. Yeah. What's her name? I going up to the door. Well, how old is the child? Two years old. Is there a two year old that lives here? Okay. You want Tennessee 28? I bet it was, uh, Four Mike three, seven golf four. Why are you running my tag? Because I smell marijuana. You smell marijuana? Yes. Because you smell marijuana that gives you the right to run my tag? Not only that, I'm going to search your car. You're not going to search anything. Yes, ma'am. No, you're not. I promise you. You are not going to break not my only, rights right now. You're about to get your rights in the back of my car. Well, if that's what you want to do because you, one, you're going to get six, real seven, get it. You do because I haven't done anything. I haven't violated any rules or anything. You sit there and talk to me and, and to that tell I, me you're going to search I, my car. I am going to search your car. And you're running my tag. I am going to search your car. I'm not doing anything but sitting out here waiting for I my daughter care. to come back I out. don't care. Your car is going to be searched. And if you interfere with my search, I will put you in the car okay, and I'll take you to you jail. Okay, you go ahead and you violate my rights then. Okay, put Let's your hands do on that. the car. You violate my rights. Put your hands on the car. Suddenly, the entire situation turned on its own as the officer expressed concern about the smell of marijuana coming out of Angel's car. At this point, Angel's daughter and her granddaughter both had come out of their residence. Yo, what are you? You're going to put you're, you're I said put me? your hands on the car. You're arresting me for put what? your hand back up. Hey, don't you put your 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 Oh my God! Shut up! Prove it! He's pulling my there. The officer immediately became hostile as he used excessive force against the old woman. He even banged her head on the back of his police cruiser and kept pulling her hair. Angel kept crying hysterically throughout the encounter. And just a few minutes later, Officer Anna Simmons arrived on the scene as well and immediately adopted a tyrannical demeanor. Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car! Oh my god, I can't! I'm too big! Sucks to be you! Get in the car! I didn't do anything! You're a woman! You're gonna treat me like this? You're a woman and you're gonna treat me like this? You're gonna get tased. Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car! I'm getting in the car! Okay, I'm in! I'm in! Angel was even tased by the power-hungry cops, and she was in visible distress as she was locked up in the police cruiser. Angel's children, who were present on the scene witnessing all of this tyranny, began to voice their concerns to the officers, only to suffer the same fate themselves. 15! Back Shut up. the f up before I take your to jail, too! You know how Get back! You know, you know how you handle it. I hear you. She just got a run the baby. You do not Go need away. to arrest her. Girl, do not push me. What is wrong? Who did it? I need to know who did it. Who did what? Who tased my She mama? didn't get tased. She did tased. Then why was her taser going off over there? Checking the fire, I guess. Make that make sense. It does. She didn't get tased. So then why was her taser? How about you worry about you? That's we'll worry about, about your about mama. mama. I don't really give a shit. I don't sound crazy. like it. Sounds like you want to join your mama. Okay. Y'all are so, violating our rights right now. What, which one? Please tell me which mom. right you're getting violated. I want violated. my mom right tell now. Tell me which right. I want my so mom. So shut up. I you don't, don't know what you're Sorry, you guys. You sound like you're about seven. You want to act like a big girl? You're going to get treated like a big girl. Both of the officers showed blatant disrespect for Angel and her daughter as they even proceeded to lie about not deploying the taser. However, moments later, Officer Simmons had a different opinion of this. Uh, other than that, she's perfectly fine. What's up? Did I spin or she wasn't from taser, right? No. Just drive spin? I'm just making sure. Yeah, no, she just drive spin. But I did it twice. No, I did it in her back and then like right here on her side. We're trying to, we're talking about, we know the woman's going. We're, I'm emotionally invested. Can I take her? Yes. Well, yeah. we, we were thinking. No. I love it when you do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's fine. She calmed down. She was an asshole, but she calmed down. was cordial and respectful. I don't really f do uh, I don't really want to take the other one. Well, I had to tackle her. That's correct. So. If somebody else wants to take her, I'm taking the one I'm emotionally invested in. She wants, which one are you invested in? The one in your car. 
Oh, well, I'll take you. Okay, that, I, by he, all means. All right, but I promise you take big one. You got to take the second one, too. As the officers had each one of them in handcuffs, they began laughing about the situation. Particularly concerning was Officer Simmons' behavior, who couldn't control her excitement after violating the rights of innocent people and arresting them illegally. Moments later, an ambulance arrived to take Angel to the hospital. Even at this point, the officers kept joking with themselves. Go to the hospital. I'm going to come. I'm talking. I'm, I'm telling you what's going to happen, okay? I just want to know, is she single? This one. What? Is she, is she single? single? I don't know, man. Ask her. Hey, she already got her. True love. Taking mom for disorderly yeah. conduct, resistance, stop, halt, frisk. They are now separated. Um, if she ain't got insurance, I'm throwing the car. You know, you're, we'll see. You're good. Yeah. But, if, but it could just, the car could just stay here. <sighs> I mean, I'm we'll her see. daughter. I, and I please see. don't, like, it's already, like, please don't, because, like, I let's want go, to fall out of jail, and I just want to date you. Uh, and, I'm, and I feel for you, and I'm not trying to cause you no headache. I want you to understand. No, well, why does she keep her headache? Like, she keeps like that. Right. Oh, yeah. I understand it's your mother. You just got to understand we have a job to do also. And we're not trying to jam you up. <laughs> Or your, mo or your mother out. Soon after talking with Angel's daughter, he went over and tried to talk to her son. Step out. Let's talk. How old are you, man? I'm 18, sir. 18. Mm -hmm. And I'm a man. I'm like you. Why you gotta hit my mama like that, bro? You gonna keep the. All right, I tried. I tr you see, I tried to I'm talk to you like a man. I tried to talk. Why you gotta do her like that, bro? Get in the car. Like, I, try I tried to talk to you. I tried. I tried. I'm not your bro. You see, I tried. You see, I tried to talk to him. How old is he? 18. He's old enough to take a ride. He goes to the big boy jail. He's going. That needs to go. Because he, he, yeah, he got to go. You tried to talk to him, he didn't want to talk to you? Yep. Hey, bro, why you want to hit my mom? I'm a man. I'm a man. Why you hit my mom? Angel's son was not released and was taken to the police station where he was charged with resisting arrest just for exercising his constitutional right to film. After searching her car, the officer couldn't find anything illegal and proceeded to leave. Listen, I want you to know how this would have went. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to search your car. Okay, I didn't find anything. Guess what? Have a good night. After getting her injuries treated, Angel was taken to the police station where she was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. Soon after this incident, the judge dismissed the charges against Angel and her daughter. However, this wasn't enough as Angel decided to file a lawsuit against the police department and the officers involved in the arrest. Later in December 2022, the Eastridge Police Department announced that they had fired Officer Anna Simmons due to her excessive use of force. Well, this is surely not the last time a police officer arrested someone without any justification. Because I don't good. trust the police. Look at all the people getting shot by police for walking. Oh yeah, just for walking. On October 11th, 2022, an officer from the La Crosse Police Department attempted to stop 26-year-old Keaton Stein, who was riding his bicycle without a front light on. Despite multiple attempts from the officer asking him to stop, Keaton kept on riding at the same speed, ignoring his commands. Not update. Your narrative has been updated. He is still continuing north towards Salem. Now eastbound in Salem. Copy eastbound in Campbell from Lumos Alleyway southbound. You ain't gonna win, buddy. There's more cars coming. Stop the damn thing. You got a bike light out. It's just a damn bike light, you idiot. Knock it off. You want to get bit? I'll send them right now. Within minutes, several officers were called as backup, and one of them even talked to Keaton from his car. That's all it needs. You want to get bit? Then stop. You have no bike light. There's an ordinance for that. Then you'll be done. You don't need anything else. All you are is looking at tickets. If I have to get out and chase you, you go to jail automatically. Because you don't have a bike light and you ain't stopping for police. What's the point? Why Why does it have to go to this dude? Why does it? Because you won't stop. You're the one making the decision, not me. But you need to stop when a cop asks you to stop. Says who? Says the law. Name the law. Obstructing. 946-41, param 1. Obstructing me on my way home. 
That's because you don't have a light on your bike. Keaton began to drive on before he was eventually stopped by an officer. Moments later, the cops were onto him trying to arrest him. On the ground. Get on the ground. On the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. On the ground. I'm pressing the parts. That's the lead. All right, chill the f out. Why don't you listen to it? Why don't you guys f listen? I didn't do anything, retards. I already explained it to you. Oh, I didn't have a bike late? All right, get the whole ass bike All right, chill the f out. My arm hurts. Stop resisting that. Please stop. This is fing bullshit, dude. You power hungry cops always trying to with somebody. Guess what? If you would have just pulled over, it wouldn't have gone. Guess this what? Way, if right? you just off and let me go home or wouldn't be, none of us would have this problem. Okay. Keaton was finally arrested by the cops and they went on to explain how this entire situation could have been avoided if he initially stopped. Keaton, however, claimed that the officers had no legal reason to stop him and he hadn't broken any laws. I wasn't doing anything. The only thing I was going to do is stop you and write you a warning for not having a bike A light. warning for not having a bike Really? That's, that's exactly you have what I was going to do. You nothing better to be doing right that's now. That's exactly what I was going to do. That you have nothing better to be doing. Nope, this is the best as it gets. Dude, what's your name? Do you have an ID on you? In your pocket? We're gonna have to search you anyways. Is it in there? I don't answer questions. Alright. Easy on the f***ing shoulder. Criminal commission. Riding my bike home and I get you guys tackling my f***ing thing. I'm gonna laugh too when he ain't finding nothing that you obviously seem to think you're finding. The officers proceeded to search him, whereas Keaton explained the reason why he started to flee. Because I want to get home. I don't want to with you guys. You guys are always trying to catch somebody up on some bullshit, dude. I know how this works. My name's Keaton. What's it say on the ID? Sorry. Why did you choose to be a cop? May I got say it? You feel like you're like doing the, like good for the greater good or something? Like what? I don't know. Why do you what choose to run like? from the police? Do you feel like you're because doing I don't good? trust the police. Look at all the f people getting shot by police for walking. Oh yeah, just for walking. Yeah, just for walking. Do you have a job? Why does it matter? I was gonna ask you if you like your job. I do like my job when I have one, but no, I'm out of work right now. Technically, Keaton's perspective was strong, considering all the police brutality online. He wasn't mentally prepared for a police interaction, which led him to flee from them. What the f you guys no, want? Like Why is there six people here in an investigator, because undercover, whatever? Because you took off running. And where's my phone, too? Don't my All right, did we form a conclusion yet? Are we good to go? No, you're going to jail, like I said. I don't said. care. Can, hey. like, can we go then? No, because you said you want to What am attention. I being arrested for? Uh, resisting. Yes, I do. Okay, then we're waiting to get the On my shoulder, my neck, my back, my side. Y'all better hope I don't need no more physical therapy or mm -hmm. Best believe the city be paying for that. You have to obey a lawful Because command. who the are you? I go your shit less if you got a badge or not, dude. You ain't no better than me. I never said I was you're better. You're not my mother father or my mom. Well, I'm glad because I'd be pretty disappointed. You know what? I don't know what the f that, that was like, dude. So f yourself. What's your name? Officer Lebrec. Get Ben. Can I ride like in your car or something? If like I'm actually going, that'd be really f cool. Cause you're the only one that's actually like not trying to be on some f tough guy. F Sorry for my language. I just got f***ing sacked off my bike. Is your shoulder and dislocated? Is you shouldn't have f tackled me. Is it dislocated? I didn't do. To him, and I'm gonna get catch a charge for it. Yep. As if, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah. this whole this whole situation could have been avoided. Yeah, if you this just whole situation stopped. could have been avoided. You could have been on doing something worth the time. I told you this is as good as it gets, bro. This is as good as it gets. Somebody on a f bike. Yep. Find a new job. Nah, where's my phone? Don't touch my. <laughs> We're just gonna safety lock these so they don't sit the on you, okay? The officers then escorted him to the back of a police cruiser as he was about to be taken to the police station. The officers even told him that he might be charged with a felony assault as the officer who tried to pin him down injured his shoulder in the process. And I'm sure my bike's gonna be gone now too long. Yeah, we're gonna take it for safekeeping or something for now. Uh, it's not a felony charge, right? It is a felony charge. Are you f serious, dude? Nope. Wow, wow, what the f ever, man. You, re you realize how badly that f me, right? Well, I'm not the one that chose to run from the place. Yeah, you, whoever the f dude, oh, f***ing A, man. I swear to God, if this charge doesn't get dropped, dude, I'm...
Like, that's it. Like, my life is basically over. Great. But some Oh, you don't have a light on your bike. Congratulations. Now you're fucked. You didn't stop, man. Right? You didn't stop. Are you the one that said that about if you were my dad, you'd be disappointed too? What's that? Are you the one that said that about my dad? I just said I'd be disappointed if I was your parent. Well, yeah. that's not. I didn't ask for your opinion as far as that's concerned. The officer was transported to a hospital where it was discovered that he had suffered a separated shoulder. Oh, just breathe, dude. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Camera's broke. We had literally had a conversation for four blocks while you guys were calling it all out. I was on. I just, when I hit him, it broke. <laughs> Don't turn on right now. <laughs> I can tell us by looking at you how much lower it is right now. Yeah, this is not good. This sucks. I did not expect you to bull rush him. <laughs> Plus, like, I'm not going to hit him with a damn car, so. No, he was stopping. What happened? So you going this way, and then you just. I happened to be here. I was like, oh, here we go. I just flushed him. Well, it wasn't Keaton's fault as he wasn't the one attacking the police officer. Despite this, he was taken to the police station where he was charged with a felony of resisting an officer causing injury and a misdemeanor for disorderly conduct. It's a bad arm, right? Yeah. Have you been in here before or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you just go right over there and take a seat then. Take a seat right there. Perfect. Thank you. As of today, the charges against Keaton are still pending. It's always a thrill to see justice served right away, especially when it involves those who think they can escape accountability. If you love seeing corrupt individuals get their just desserts, make sure to like this video, drop a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe for more content that captures these instant karma moments.